I like the group. Uh, we're a much better team, both in terms of our grouping up front, as well as our ability to close down the back. Um, last year, you know, we were still, I felt like we were still a little bit smoke and mirrors. We were pulling some guys in from different backgrounds, adding some guys in, but one thing was evident last year, we had no fifth man. Um, you know, we were running a minute, minute and a half from four to five, which, um, you know, my hope tomorrow is that we get done our one to five scoring within 50 to 60 seconds. So it's a completely different situation on the men's team, on the men's side, on the women as well. Um, we've certainly benefited from our, our transition into youth. Um, we had a senior laden team last year, but again, it was a, a group with just differing backgrounds, differing rates of um, preparation, expectation. And so with the women this year, um, they've probably taken on paper even more steps than the men. Um, and it certainly helps that we have a penetrator up front in Caroline, but just across the board, one to five, one to seven, we're a completely different group. One of the fortunate things about hosting is we know where the course is gonna be. Lisk is 12 minutes north, 15 minutes north with traffic. Um, so we're able to run on aspects of the course um, in training, um, just like we did last year. Uh, and so there should be a, sensor, a sensory advantage for us. Like we should know how things feel. Um, and I just think it, it doesn't, it's not a huge advantage per se, but it's one of those pieces that, you know, if, if someone's on the edge of running well or running or not running well, it's something that could skew in, in our favor. I think UTEP's got a good group. They, uh, they get one, two, three in pretty quickly, but then they drop off the map a little bit. Um, Middle Tennessee State's intriguing because once they start scoring, they'll probably finish scoring as quick as anybody, quicker than anybody. Um, the question is, where do they? When when do they start scoring? Um, you know, if they start scoring in the single digits, mid single digits, they win. Um, if they start scoring around ten to fifteen, they don't. Um, and then there are women. Uh, you know, I think we've got a very good one one through six sort of punch right now. Um, I think Caroline's saying has a shot at being in the individual mix. Um, and if we can tighten, you know, we're sort of, we've got a larger distribution in the sense that we've got a one and then we go two, three, four, five in pretty quick succession. If we tighten that down over 5,000 meters, who knows? Um, and that's really the setup on the women's side. Uh, the men's side's a little simpler. Uh, UTEP, if they put Coetch back in, I think one, they're one of the top eight to 10 teams in the country. Um, Middle Tennessee State is very similarly very deep. I don't think they're quite as top heavy in their scoring as UTEP, but they've got a bunch of good ones. I think they're one of the top 20 to 25 teams in the country. Um, and uh, UTEP, for example, was 11th last year at the NCAA's so on, on, I think, their worst day of the year. Um, and then, uh, and then it's, um, and then it gets interesting. And um, you know, North Texas won the conference championship two years ago. They've got a reputation for showing up well at this meet. I think, um, I think the obvious choice is, you know, us and them probably for third. Um, and they're certainly a, uh, you know, a valued name in our conference. But Rice is another team. I don't think uh, they're well coached, and I don't think you can preclude them from showing up on any given on any given day.